Welcome to this NX Help Tip. Calculating weights for assemblies is something that can be simple when you know how. Just to confirm, you do not need an advanced assemblies license to do anything shown in this video. As you can see, the weight and material columns are empty for this assembly. To fix that, I need to assign a material to each of my models. You can see that as we assign it, the material column will update, but the weight is not yet showing. Saving and also forcing a save all hasn't given us a weight for our parts. We need to set a default to remedy this. By setting the default for generating weight data to always generate, the system will now do it at save. As we're setting any customer default, we need to exit and start a new session for it to apply. Now you can see that saving the part will calculate and populate the column with the weight. The assembly weight will also add up all the components for the combined weight. If you check the part properties, you can see the weight tab is greyed out as the license is not available for the mass field value. To check, we can do a measure body and see the result is the same as the weight column value. Now we can demonstrate that if the model changes, what happens to the weight of the part. Making, making the part larger will change the weight status. If we save the part, it then updates. Deleting the change, and again the weight will clear, and saving will again update the value. Now that you have mass values, you can look at our attributes and parts list videos to see how to use that information for drawings.